In science, there's no such thing as perfect data. All observations and measurements have errors attached. The word error is perhaps inappropriate. Rather, we should call it uncertainty due to limitations in the measuring equipment or apparatus. The theory of observational errors was put in place in the 18th century by the great mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. In the Gaussian theory of errors, if the error has a random cause due to limitations in the measurement, then the measurements, when you take it multiple times, will be distributed about an average value. So if you make multiple measurements, you take an average to get the best value. Gauss also showed that the scatter or spread of individual measurements about the average value has a well-determined distribution called the Gaussian or the normal distribution. You may also have heard this called the bell curve. In Gauss's theories of errors, if you make multiple measurements, two-thirds of the measurements will be within one sigma or one standard error of the true value. 95% of the measurements will be, be within two sigma or two standard errors of the true value. And 99.5% of the measurements will be within three sigma or three standard errors of the true value. The way we improve accuracy and precision in science is to make more and more measurements so as to better approximate the true value.